Hello everyone. We're going to have a short demonstration on Vioski 2.0. We're going to create a USB stick which you can use to install Vioski 2.0. You will need to have at least a Windows Vista machine that you're running these commands on. Then you will also need a Windows 7 or Windows 8 installation media or your custom WIM file that needs to be renamed to install.wim before injecting it to the correct folder. You will also need a USB stick with at least 4 gigabytes of disk space that you can erase. We're going to start by going to Vioski's website www.vioski.com going to the download section and downloading the Vioski 2.0. Just save the file to your local hard drive and then extract the zip file. I've already done that beforehand. The file should look like this. What I've also done is I've injected a Windows 8 64-bit install WIM, which I copied from the original installation media. You can also use your customized WIM files. Just remember to inject the file as install.wim and inject it to the correct folder corresponding to the operating system version and the platform. After we've done this, we have to inject a USB stick, which I'm going to do right now. So here we have an empty disk. I'm going to open up a command prompt, start disk part. Remember to have this command prompt running with administrative rights. So disk part, let's first list the disks. My disk number corresponding to the USB stick, which uh, would be disk 3. So let's select that one. Select disk 3. Let's clean it up. Then we'll create a primary partition. We'll format it. I'm going to format it with FAT32, but you can use NTFS if you require bigger files than 4 gigs. And let's do a quick format. Now that's done. What we'll need to do is we will need to make it an active partition and also assign a drive letter to it. Okay, let's exit disk part. Now we're going to go and check what the new drive is called. It's called E drive. Let's go back to the command prompt. And then we'll do an X copy of the source files. Sorry. Vioski. Vioski 2.0 and the destination will be E. We'll use parameters C, H, E, R, K, Y, I. The copying will take a while, so I'll be back when the copying is done. Now that the copying is done, we should have a ready USB stick to be used for the installation of Vioski 2.0. Um, if I'll check my drive here, removable disk E, this is what it looks like. It has all the files that were in the zip file, plus the install.wim. That's all you need to do. Now you have a USB stick, just stick it in a computer and reboot the computer. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.